Good morning, my Stampin' Friends. How are you? Happy Monday. It is the very last day of January, um, which I know we all keep talking about how fast time is marching on and it keeps going at an unbelievable rate. So um, thank you for being here today. Uh, you are not watching live. I have an appointment today at the time I normally go live, so I am recording this ahead of time. So I will follow up on your comments um, later this evening or tomorrow. So, ah, so much to tell you, and I'm going to get it all out of order because that's that's who I am. Uh, my name is Michelle Salcho. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Middle Tennessee, and I am very glad that you are here with me today to craft. So let's switch cameras and see if I can't get us going. All right, so today we are casing the catalog. So this is the, the mini catalog that was uh, just just went live in early January and will go through June and this right here on the cover this is part of the flowering fields suite so that's on page 14 and this is what we are casing today and we are taking an in-depth look at this because this is the featured bundle whoops suite for card club in February. So my card club met um, this past Saturday and I want to show you the cards that we made there too but I will um, we'll kind of do that as we as we go along. So this is the card that we're going to case today. Uh, I absolutely love this. Now last week we made a card um, I'm going to say it was Wednesday. We made this card and I promised you then that we were going to take a look at the dies um, this week and see if we couldn't put those beautiful petals together like they've done here. So, um, see if we can't take some of the mystery out of that. Okay, pardon me while I get that back in there. So I've gone ahead and prepped a few things ahead of time, um, just in the interest of time. Uh, but I want to show you what all I've done and we'll get going. So I'm going to set this right here so that it's kind of, darn, this wants to slide around. I apologize for that. I'm going to set that there so I can keep up with what I've got. Um, I have started with a piece of Poppy Parade card base and a piece of this beautiful designer series paper. So my Poppy Parade card base is four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. Then I have a piece of this designer series paper and this paper is absolutely stunning. It has some really bright fun colors in it and um, you can get a little snippet of it on page 15. So that is here. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous papers. All right, so, and then here are the dies, All right? So we used this one last week, and today we are going to use the ones that make the petals. All right, I do have a piece of vellum over here too. I cut it three by four, and I've got a piece of glue stuck to it, yay. Um, okay, so the petals are made up of these crazy looking dies. And then these little, I'm going to call them, I don't know, they kind of look like animal footprints to me because of that middle part. Okay, so that's what we need for the petals. Um, there's a bud and it is the one that is right here. So this bud, let's see if I can get this right, is is this die. And I've gone ahead and cut it. So you cut it out like this. So here's the bud. So I need one of those and one of these. So I've cut this out of Poppy Parade and then I have the, the smaller piece cut out of Petal Pink. So since we're making all three flowers here, we uh, I cut three of one for each of these. And the really cool thing is, is that you have three of them. 
All right, so this is going to equal the bud, and I'm just going to go ahead and set the completed one beside it so that you can so that you can see. But it actually goes like this. Okay, fold it up, um, and there are actually score marks that you end up with. Let's see if I can do it like this. All right, so that is that one. I don't know what the best way is. We'll do them this way. Okay. And then this V looking one we need for both the second and the third flower. But we only have one. So we ran it through twice uh, to cut out um, well, let's do it this way. Sorry. I did a little prep work ahead of time and I'm just trying to decide what to show you. So we end up with this this and then let's see if I can figure out which one this is um, it really shouldn't be that hard okay so it is this one so it cuts out like this and it's going to come together like this and we'll fold it and it's the one that kind of makes the cradle so over here it is this far left one so it looks like that. Okay. So I'm going to kind of spread these out. That way you can grab a screenshot if you would like to. Now our final one is going to look like this. This is the one on the far right on the catalog image. And we need we need the V. Maybe we'll put the V kind of in the in the middle of them. All right. And it looks like this. Um, and it folds together like that. Okay. All right. So those are our oops, our pieces that make up the buds. All right. Now, I worked with this yesterday, and I actually filmed a video that I thought was going to be today's video, and then I scrapped it. Um, I was in a rush, and I felt like it showed. And crafting is not supposed to be a rush. This is my, this is my escape. Um, this is what makes me feel best. So I didn't want to do that. Now, I've also cut out several of the skinny stems and the shorter thicker stems and some of the leaves. Now you might notice that some of these leaves kind of hard to tell um, I've, I have sponged I've sponged these not this one um, and I have sponged in my completed flowers. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did that. I feel like my, my light, even though it's a decently sunny day, it's not quite doing us favors. Sorry. Maybe that's better. All right. So once I got my pieces cut out, let's talk about how I sponge them and then we'll put this little guy together. So starting with the lightest color, so Petal Pink, and then Calypso Coral, and then Poppy Parade, I sponged these. And my sponge, I'm just going to kind of clean it off a little bit over here and show you how I sponged it. And, um, and then I broke down the fibers. So I am not going to sponge all of these pieces because once you once you know what to do you can do it yourself and then I did kind of go up like this to grab some of that detail and unfortunately I have green also on my little sponge dauber and that one picked up some of the green that's okay because so little of this shows All right that's the petal pink and then on these little V pieces I used Calypso Coral 
and on this dauber I have both Poppy Parade and I just want to run on the edges like so just kind of flicking the sponge of the dauber across it just adding some definition and then I'll show you on the last one with Poppy Parade how I did that same thing just went all the way around adding ink okay. so that's basically the sponging of it and I'll show you so here is one that I have sponged and then here is one that I have not oh, come on it's not real clear Let's see if I can turn it hold on one sec let me see if I can turn up this one if that will help us maybe okay so now how did we break down the fibers I took a bun bone folder and just kind of did this I have worked projects before where we actually crumpled this up and kind of straightened it back out I didn't quite go to that extent but I wanted to be able to just make this look really soft flower petals are very soft and so that was my only goal here the sponging to add some definition and then breaking down the fibers to soften it okay and so I really have a very now you do need to be careful it's really easy to tear some of these fragile pieces you know like this one that has this piece you know here in the middle that's pretty fragile all right then on the on the, the V piece the Calypso coral piece and this is one that has not been sponged but I'm just holding on pretty tightly with my left hand and so just try different methods and see what works for you crumpling it up in one hand and then smoothing it back out might be what works best for you I can't figure out why I'm not in the camera's eye Still getting used to this placement of my desk. So in Saturday's class, we used the New Horizons designer series paper with the Biggest Wish stamp set and made birthday cards. And everyone absolutely fell in love with this designer series paper. So I'm going to show you the cards that we made and you've I've already done at least one video showing you um, another card or two and then I want to tell you about when you can expect to see more so that you can participate as well. Now the tutorial from the card club will be available for sale um, on my website if you want to pick it up there. If you're a member of my team that's a perk you can um, you can obtain copies of my tutorials and prep the cards for yourself so if you need ideas that is one place to get them all right so you can see those are just looking really just really soft can you feel that probably not all right and then again the same thing here So in Wednesday's 
Facebook Live at 11 o'clock. I have four, I believe it's four cards that we are going to make using that new horizon. New Horizons, On the Horizon. I believe the stamp set is called On the Horizon and the designer series paper is called New Horizons. I could be wrong, but we'll check the catalog in just a moment. So I'm going to have some more samples with that paper on Wednesday's Facebook Live. And then our bingo, the first Friday night in March, we're going to use that paper and stamp set. Um, so you can go ahead and order that stamp set and then you will be all ready. And then I'm also going to do some of the, the beach. Gosh, I really need to learn these names. I'm so sorry. Um, there's some coordinating stamp sets that just, they all come together just so beautifully. All right. So that's how you break down the fibers. And then through the magic of, I worked a little bit before the video started, I've already put these together. Oh, maybe you guys would like to see that. Oh, I'm so sorry. And now that I've shuffled them all up, how did they go together? Okay, so I told you this is the one that is the bud. And so it just has that one little petal pink piece that goes in and and the petal pink is going to peek through right here. So I'm going to take this one that I've broken down and I would just add a little dot of glue at the base. Okay, so I want it to be pretty loose at the top. So it's just the base that's going to get the glue. And I'm going to place that where I want it, where I think I want it. and it needs to set for a second or two or five, which is why I worked ahead. And then I would put a little more glue down here to hold this bottom edge. Oh my gosh, that's so much glue. There is an eraser that you can get. This little mono eraser will pick up that dried glue. So I would hold this in place long enough for that to you know firm up and hold on its own. This is probably why not everyone uses Tombow glue for these type of product projects because you do have to let it set. But basically, that's how you want to build these flowers, is working from, um, you're going to fold them on those score lines and then work back to front, putting each of the pieces down and creating as much arc as you want in them. Okay. All right, so let me get those out of the way, the pieces that we, I know we're not going to use because I've already put the flowers together. I have more little flower petals everywhere. And I can get my bone folder out of the way. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, the green that we're using is pear pizzazz. So we use pear pizzazz ink and cardstock. All right, I think we're finished with the dyes unless, well, you're not live to ask me questions. So I can just assume that that's okay. All right, um, now, if you are waiting for that to dry, this would be a good time for you to put down your designer series paper. And the vellum won't go down until the end because adhesive shows through on vellum. And until I get my flowers in place, I don't know where I can hide that adhesive. Now this just has an eighth of an inch border on each side. So, um... Although getting it. Okay. Isn't that just beautiful, beautiful paper? It might help if you see it upside, right side up. And then the vellum that is here, 
And see, I've got a little bit of glue there from, I don't know, messiness. So I'm just gonna take this little Tombow, and see, and not Tombow, Mono Sand Eraser, it's called. And I got them as a pack of five or so on Amazon. Okay, so my flowers are already, and see, this is really thick. So mailing it might be a little tricky. Um, Not to say you can't. All right, so let's lay these out and I'm just using this as my guide. Um, and I think I can probably move that. That wasn't in your way, but it was in my way. And then lay out the petals kind of based on um, where they are too. I think that they've used and like I said I've sponged some of these leaves and then this little guy just going to kind of go with the where the arc is there oh my gosh so that one kind of goes there and then this one kind of goes here <laughs> like herding cats over here this one goes here and then where these come together they have a bow tied so I think that I can put my flowers down and we can go from there and actually that one goes over there And making sure I'm in camera here. And I'm going to put this one kind of way up at the edge there. And I'll give it just a moment to set. This one in place. And it is going to go it is very rounded. My version is. And then the sweet little bud I'm gonna put right about there. Now I wouldn't necessarily use adhesive sheets like we did last week on um, on this card, when we die cut this, we used adhesive sheets because we wanted that firmly in place. And these we don't want so firmly in place, so I wouldn't use adhesive sheets for them. Um, but I'm going to have to be really careful as I put these down not to knock them all over the place because I can promise you they are not firmly in place yet. And I want this to just come there and then the longer one I'm going to bring right along there And 
that another. I think I can do this with this short one, okay. Well, maybe it needs to be a longer one. Well, okay, it needs to be a longer one. We can do that. We'll just grab one that's already cut and we'll, and it did not break up the fiber so much on the leaves. Maybe that was, um, maybe I should have, but I'll just tell you I didn't. Just putting a little pair of pizzazz along the edges. UPS just went by. I don't think they're making a stop here. They do. We all know that's going to activate the dog. Our security system. And this one they had laying over the stems. So let's... Um, Go ahead and put two of these stems down and then we'll put that other greenery down. So this wants me to believe that that's already stuck all the way down. And I don't think so. I can't pick it up either so it's going to have to go in there. And we're gonna, well, we might trim it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, then this one. Oh, little buddy. Did you go slip sliding around? Might have. All right, so this one. Oh, sorry. See, he's not even stopping. Okay, stay there. There was, uh, I haven't shared this yet, but I'm going to share a meme that talked about handmade cards and the amount of time and love and, and energy that goes into them and that it's it's not just a handmade card when you get one oh my gosh okay I still need to put down so sorry was not paying attention um, it was just such a nice reminder that it's not just a card it's, it's love and, um, and heart that go into the handmade cards that you receive. That's so true. All right, put a little more glue on this one. I guess if I'd really been good, I'd have had this already done, and I could say, oh, through the magic of, yes, being that prepared, I have another one that I could pull out and share. Now, in the catalog, it looks like they actually wrapped the ribbon around these stems, and um, that's so not going to happen. In fact, I don't even think I'll be able to get the ribbon placed, but I will show you. Okay, I'm going to need scissors, however. There's a pair. I will put this in place. I love this window pane ribbon. I'm not sure if this ribbon will be the ribbon that's included in Card Club or not, or if it'll be some of this and some of another one. Um, but the intention is to include half a pack of this beautiful designer series paper. So this would go like so. And 
And since this is all glue and it's drying, um, I would normally do this with a glue dot, but since it's already all glue and it's got to set, we'll do that. And while that sets enough for us to do the next step, I'll show you the cards that we made in Card Club and this paper. So this was actually not one. This was one that I made a few weeks ago and you've probably already seen it on my blog, but um, I used the stamps from the On the Horizon stamp set. Um, and then this one uh, was a sympathy card that I made and I used Mountain Air. And then the birds are from On the Horizon. Great discussion about which direction the birds needed to be placed. Uh, these are the cards that we made using mostly what I called the B side of the paper. So we made this one and we used the iridescent rhinestone gems with these. Um, but gorgeous, gorgeous cards. This one actually used the A side, but again, the only stamping is the birds and the greetings from Biggest Wish. So, um, but the papers, I love this paper. So again, I'm going to use this um, in class on, no, in my Facebook Live on Wednesday, and then in Bingo on March the 4th. Aren't these just amazingly gorgeous? This one I am determined to just frame, probably as it is, just love it. So that's those papers, and let me show you where that is in the mini, because those are... Those are mini catalog products as well. Try not to bump what I'm doing over there. And I think it's page 40. Yeah. All right, so here's the whole suite. New Horizon suite. And then here's the stamp set and dies. Look at these. this little picket fence. Well, is it a picket fence? It's a beach fence anyway. Um, and then these little pebbles. And then here is this designer series paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So you'll see this on a Wednesday's. Facebook Live, and then this ocean front. We're going to do some playing with it as well. Probably not on Wednesday. I doubt that I'll have enough time to do it on Wednesday, but you can see that here they pulled in the dies from On the Horizon, the birds from On the Horizon, and um, and then they, they fussy cut this. This stamp set doesn't have dies. Um, okay. So that's what's coming up on Wednesday. This paper, this suite, this flowering fields is the feature for Card Club for February. You must register by the 10th to uh, receive the kit. And then if you are a member of my team, you can get the tutorial for free because um, that is a perk of being on our team. All right, this has so much dimension. There is no way we're going to put that on dimensionals. How are we going to add glue, you say? That's a very good question. Let's see how good my answer is. Okay, so you can see I got all of this space that I can put glue on my vellum and put it in place on my card. Now in the catalog, they added a greeting. Um, and they kind of did it, they did it actually quite, quite cleverly. I cannot tell if I've got that straight. It's probably not. Let's just go with that. Isn't that beautiful? And then probably trim those off just a little bit. Okay, let's set that over there. Um, darn, lost my thought. I'm going to go back to show you. Oh, yes, I want to show you how clever they were with their greeting. So the tag says thinking of you. And I think that they, this is not a dye that was indicated in the print lab recipe. Um, and they've added some butterflies. So I'll come back and add butterflies. Um, but this thinking of you is part of this stamp. So they've just inked up the middle or they've masked off the just and today and made it just thinking of you, which is amazing. Okay, so let me grab my little butterflies. Where have they gone off to? Here they are. 
these butterflies. Love, love, love these butterflies. And, you know, you always know, in general, you know that they have, that they have added three of the gems. So it's always, a, hmm, where is that third one hiding? And I don't know. I only see two. But in general, you put down three. So I may need to come back and slide a little adhesive over here. Um, let's see if I can grab a butterfly and put one there. And then one right there. If I'd used a big one, that might have actually held it down. And then we'll put a big one, say, over right there, I think. So that's our lovely card for today. I hope that you got some tips for working with these, these dies, tearing down the fibers so that you can soften it up. And looking at it from here, I can see I would like to have these a little softer too. So I might, um, when I make this the next time, I might actually take those um, leaves and soften them a bit with the bone folder as well. And of course it needs a white insert um, on the inside so that you could easily write your greeting, your message. And, um, and that might be where I put the only greeting. Um, I don't know that I need to add a greeting to the front of this, but I do like the way that they did the thinking of you. So that is it for today. I think I managed to share everything that I wanted to. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And remember that um, if you would like to get, you can always purchase this um, if you'd like to, but if you would like to purchase this as part of a class, this will be the February Card Club and you can um, subscribe to the club by the 10th or you may reserve just this individual class on the fourth uh, by the 10th. And these are not necessarily the designs that we'll be using. I just want to continue to show you ways to use this, this paper um, because you will have leftover paper and ribbon um, after Card Club. So everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me today. And um, I will see you on Wednesday where we jump back to look at more of the um, New Horizons suite. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.